Hey everyone, so it was great getting the chance to meet all of you, but I also know what it's like when you leave a workshop or a conference and you go back and you start getting busy being busy. And it's easy in those moments not to apply what you learned. And so I wanna make sure that I'm doing my part to ensure that's not happening. So in this video, I'm gonna create some exercises that you can do as an individual or exercises that you can do as a team to apply what you learned and ensure that you lead and communicate with stronger impact. You know, I believe the best leaders who show up in the penthouse with the best energy are leaders that are authentic. And we know that it's their authenticity that leads to trust and engagement and culture and all that. And so the first exercise that I'm going to challenge you to do is this. We know that if you want to change your life, the way that you lead, the way that you communicate, you got to change what you believe about yourself. And so I, I'm going to challenge you to set some time aside where you answer this one fundamental question. Who am I at my best? And I want you to answer that question by starting out by saying, at my best, I am someone who... Now your challenge is gonna be not to use any title in your answer. You can't say, I'm a mom, I'm a dad, I'm an executive, I'm an athlete, I'm a store manager. Without any title, do you know who you really are? So at my best, I am someone who and I want you to get clear about who you really are. And in those moments that life's tough, can you download that version of yourself? Because it's in the moments that are hard, when things are busy at work, or when things just aren't going well in life, or someone cuts you off in the car, it's in those moments that I have to be able to download the best version of who I am. That's when, that's when it matters, and that's how we build authenticity, trust, and credibility as leaders. So my second exercise I'm gonna challenge each of you to do so that you can lead better and that you can start moving yourself up to that authentic leadership, kind of penthouse level energy, is to get really clear about what your core values are. You know, Brene Brown said something similar to that you don't have to get up and wear armor every day of your life when you have clarity of purpose and values. And so I want you to get really clear about what your core values are. And so if you're interested in doing that exercise, you can go to my website, which is justinpatton.com. And then if you go to the coaching tab and go all the way to the bottom, there are some free handouts and resources. And one of the handouts is a core values exercise. And so I'm gonna challenge you to figure out what are your top four core values that you really stand for and what is it gonna take you to do? What do you need to add on or let go to live those values more in every part of your life? So we focus some exercises on yourself, but what about exercises you can do with your team? Because, you know, I believe that you got to put just as much accountability on yourself as you do your team. And so your team is just as responsible for helping drive results, you know, how they get results, you know, culture, all of that. And so one of the first exercises that I do with anyone I coach is to understand their authentic brand. Instead of me coaching you to be someone that I want you to be, I want you to tell me when people talk about you, what are the three words you hope they actually use? And so I spend time with each person on the team understanding how they want to be perceived by people. And once they get really clear about their three words, what I do is I ask them, how well do you feel like you're living that out? And then I give them feedback about what I've seen or experienced and moving forward, letting them know that, you know, I, I respect and appreciate their development enough to give them feedback about how I perceive them doing and living their brand. All right, so the last exercise I'm gonna invite you to do is a team exercise at your next team meeting. And so during that meeting, I want you to ask this question. What are the top four actions that we could do to be a better team? And then once you have those top four actions, split the group up into four different groups and assign each group one of those actions. And what that group is gonna do is then brainstorm what are ways that we could live that out in the day-to-day -day work that we do. So for example, if one of the actions is we're gonna do more recognition, well then have that group brainstorm all the ways that could happen. We're gonna celebrate birthdays, we're gonna create a recognition wall, we're gonna recognize someone before they leave for the day. Just what are all the ways that that could come to life in the day-to-day -day work that you have to do? Then, what I'm gonna challenge you to do is there's no one right way, but to say maybe you, you focus on one of those actions every week. 
And so for week one, we're going to focus on this one. Week two, the next one. Week three, the next one. And week four. So by the time the entire month is done, you've really been working and instilling and reinforcing and coaching the actions that they say they want that, that would lead to a better team, better energy in the organization. And at the end of the day, it will create a better guest experience. Any leader can lead out of fear, create a transactional culture, bully people into getting results. But when leaders lead and focus on how results are achieved, they create a better experience for everyone involved. Leadership is not about you, but it starts with you. And it starts by holding ourselves and the people on your teams accountable for the energy they show up with every day. Hope I gives you something to think about. If no one tells you they believe in you, I believe in you.